Welcome to V8DXB. Today we have a very special car with us. This is the Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition. This was built to celebrate 10 million units of the Land Cruiser sold since its introduction. The Land Cruiser has been the oldest model that Toyota has been selling. It surpasses the Corollas, the Camrys, all of those. And the Land Cruiser badge is the one that is the oldest running car in the Toyota's lineup. This is the Heritage Edition. And this is powered by the 4.7 litre V8 that's available on the Land Cruisers. Got a fancy bit of decals, some custom stuff going on that really gives this car, gives this car a very special look. And that's what the heritage is all about, giving you the nice 90s look, but keeping you updated with all the safety features, technological advancements, and everything that you'd expect from a Land Cruiser. Now the Land Cruiser is the king of the desert and it's also the king of off-roading. The Heritage Edition comes with something called as kinetic suspension. What that does is that allows your different wheels to have different articulation so you can do stuff like this. So if you look at the front left wheel, it's all the way suspended and it's touching the ground over here. Whereas the left rear wheel is all the way in. And this is not even extreme. I'll show you what extreme looks like. This is the perfect example of what the kinetic suspension on the Land Cruiser is capable of doing. You can see the right left wheel, the right rear wheel is completely on the ground and the top right is off the ground. And you can see the articulation that the wheel is offering. Now this is a completely stock car. There's no suspension modifications done to it. Look at the wheel travel. Look at this, I can put my head in there. That's the kind of wheel travel and this wheel is still on the ground. So if you do get stuck, you can still have traction rolling out from this wheel. And this is all on a stock Land Cruiser. You have on the Heritage Edition, the standard looking dials, not the fancy one with the big LED screen and all of that fancy things, is a very standard looking dial and it really much, very pretty much goes with the interior concept that you have over here. You can see the touches to the blower and all of that stuff as well. It's the raw plastic, it's grey in colour, gives it a very industrial feel and you obviously have all your HVAC controls over here. Interesting to see a standard push button start over here. It would be really cool if Toyota had given it a key to start this car, giving it that really 90s look. You do get the big technological screen, the big screen over here as well that has your basic Toyota stuff. So they've made a good mixture of all the uh, old school things that you would expect and also the latest new school technology and reliability that comes with these Toyota Land Cruisers. And driving dynamics is pretty much the same as what you'd expect from a Land Cruiser. You sit high and it, it's also missing the running board. So getting in and out of the Land Cruiser, this feels a little higher, which is why when I initially got the car, I thought maybe it has a lift kit, but it doesn't. It's because the running board is not there that you need to make that extra effort to go up and down when you're sitting ingressing or outgressing. And that really helps when you're off-roading the car. Everything else stays constant as your regular Land Cruiser. Your uh, sticks over here, gear transmission over here, your 4 x controls, everything is pretty much standard as you have on the other Land Cruisers. And I'm really digging this whole grey plastic. And it's not cheap plastic. It's good soft touch plastic that Toyota has put over here. It's not that cheap plastic because it looks a certain color. So they've really got a fine balance of the quality craftsmanship, the look and feel, everything else is right down to where it needs to be. There's also some good wooden inserts on the passenger side to give it a bit of a premium feel and making sure that you will also have everything. You also have, uh, on up top over here, you also have sunroof, which is obviously electrical. This is by hand. You have the tilt and slide feature, which is also good. and. Everything else sprays pretty much the same. So I think overall the interior is a great place to be. And of course, if you're buying the Heritage Edition, it has that value. And you can see at the seat over here at the back, it says Heritage Edition written on your headrest, which is obviously how you know that you're driving a Heritage Edition of the Land Cruiser. So stay tuned for more. We'll find out more what this car is capable of. Here's Gaurav, <laughs> he has a YouTube channel. Gaurav, do you want to tell them about it? So my YouTube channel is V8DXB. I talk about cars, I review cars. And, and you also sit in booths of cars. Booths 